Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul and then I thought I would also throw in some drugstore purchases which I'll do at the end. I went to Sephora in store twice and then I went to, I, I ordered online once which I want to show you when you go to Sephora. <laughs> Nothing's easy, sorry. Um, when I went to Sephora in store they gave you this tote bag and since I went twice I got two of them and I gave one away to my sister and the the first thing that I knew I was going to get when the VIB sale began was the NARS Stephen Klein palette. I just thought that this was a really good deal. You're getting four blushes. Now, they're not full size, but I just, I don't know, this palette just called out to me. I love the packaging, and it's really a nice, like, heavy, not heavy, I don't want to say heavy. It's got some weight to it, and it's, I feel like it's built, built really nicely. And the palette is called, there's a name, One Shocking Moment. And they give you four blushes, Robotic, Blasphemy, Luster, Dolce Vita, two bronzers, one they call one they call contour which is called paloma and the other is laguna which i have a mini of and i just i don't know i just saw this a huge mirror i saw this and i was just really i knew i wanted to get this and it's a great travel palette but i just i had sold several of my nars uh blushes uh but these are colors that i feel like are really wearable and i'm excited to try this there's some blushes in here that i've been wanting to try for a while now uh next is i'm really excited about it as well this is a becca shimmering skin perfector pressed uh powder and opal and i was just debating between opal and moonstone and i just felt like opal was uh i wanted to get that one first and i was I was going to get this. They had a small um, combo of the opal in a liquid form and this form. And I knew I wasn't going to use the liquid. I just, that's not something that I, um, I like powder products better than liquid. And so I was like, let me just spend the money to get this product and not spend money on a combo of products that I'm not going to use half of. So here it is. Beautiful. Um, this is a really pretty color. I have it swatched here. It's just gorgeous, and I'm excited, really excited to have this. Okay, uh, next is a lipstick, and it's pretty pricey for, for me anyway. It's a Givenchy lipstick, and I had gotten a free sample somewhere. I'm not sure where. It might have been from, uh, Sephora, uh, but I can't remember. And it was a Givenchy la rouge intense color sensually matte lip color and i wanted the one in mandarin bolero but they didn't have it so i decided to get this one it's um 307 is there an english equivalent name i thought there was and now i look silly but it says granite in a tea i that's not right. There must be an English equivalent to it. But it's just a really nice red color. And I like these because they're moisturizing. But they do stay uh, they do stay a good amount of time on the lips. And they look like this. And it's gorgeous. And this is... Yeah, I guess it's granite in a tea. I don't... I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering that. But there's the color. And I, you know, I've been really into dark lips and red lips, so I thought this was a good way to go. See how it's shiny? And it goes on so nicely. So there's a good amount of moisture. It's like a semi-matte lipstick and just, it's, if there's such a luxurious product, I think this is it. Just the packaging and um, it was a real splurge for me. And the 100 Point Perk uh was do they call it perks the 100 point purchase that i picked out was the ultra the first day beauty ultra repair cream uh and i really like this this absorbs into the skin really nicely very quickly and i i love moisturizers that just sink into the skin really fast i don't like to feel it afterwards definitely nothing greasy and this was really nice and i, li I like the size it's good for the purse and then my boyfriend redeemed his uh birthday gift and it, he got the Peter Thomas Roth. I already have two of the NARS lipsticks. That was the birthday present this year. And so I kept 
uh, this is a cucumber gel mask and there was also I believe a cleanser to that so that was my first trip not too bad and then I went back because I wanted to get since it was 20% off I wanted to get a birthday uh, birthday Christmas presents and I picked this one out I thought this was such a great value gotta make room for this bag here this is the L'Occitane in Provence and it's best of Provence and it was $41 a $55 value but I thought that this was so cute you get a bag you get the I, I really wanted this almond oil I've heard it's great for shaving your legs so I want to try that um, there you got three moisturizers which I'm gonna pass out to the girls in my family uh, something for my sister, a few things for my sister in here. And I just thought this was a really great set. I mean, it's great for to give to one person, but I thought this would be great to split up for a few different people. So I got that. Then, for my sister, which I don't think she's going to watch this. Uh, this, she really loves cats. Uh, she loves all pets, but she really likes cats. And I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. It's so cute. I love sleep masks and, uh... I'm sure she'll like this. I don't know if she's obsessed like I am. Oh, maybe it's not an obsession, but I just really like sleep mask. Sleep mask, and if they had a different one, I would have gotten one. But um, this one I think is really cute. So I got that for her for Christmas, and I did get uh, I did get the 500. I redeemed my 500 points, and I've been holding on to it. 500 point reward. And I saw this one, and I've been wanting to try Argon Oil for a while, so I got this Josie Marin. It says, Josie's Best and Brightest Argon Oil Essentials. And let me just open it up. The only thing is, I didn't like how they packaged this. They just had it all, like, you can see here. They didn't really pack it with a lot of this stuff, I guess, they put in here. Only a very little bit. Not a big deal, because everything's closed, but I just didn't like everything, like, rolling around in here so there's the pure argan milk you also get the argan oil which i think is a really decent size and then you get this is the josie marin argan infinity leap and trick creamy oil don't know what that is but josie's best-selling argan infinity intensive creamy oil now in tints for like lips and cheeks not really interested in that and I actually got it because of this this is the Josie Marin Argon Enlighten Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil I'm so sorry I'm having trouble with my words today I don't know why so it looks like it says shine the light you were born to shine Josie inside the mirror I think this is a really beautiful compact and this is a highlighter as well but it's not as intense it's a very light highlighter so I put it next to so very very subtle and I like that for some days so I thought this was a pretty good 500 point perk I you know I'm I save on to those things and I'm like let me just redeem it this one time and oh my god I picked that and then the last thing is the last couple of things this was the online order i know everyone's talking about these this is the bite beauty best bite Re best bite rewind lipsticks and i got this actually from my friend i know she had bought uh one of the canisters a couple of years ago and she raved about it and i thought i would get it for her hopefully she didn't get it herself uh but she um i got this for her and i was gonna get it for myself but i was like you know what i have so many lip products and i don't need it this time maybe next year i'll get something like this but there's really cool colors in here the only thing is i'm not sure if she'll like this one because she gave me from her set she gave me something that looks like this maybe she'll do it again this year i don't know uh and then the free samples I picked out were the Living Proof Style Lab Satin Hair Serum. And then this is the Giva, the Guerlain Sils Denfer. I think that means Sil Valium. Uh, but yeah, I love this little size mascaras. They're so much easier to finish up. And if they go bad, you don't feel so bad because they're so little. And I thought that this was another great kit. And this is the Original Beauty Blender Makeup Best Friends. Uh, 
Okay, so you get two beauty blenders, and I think this is, yeah, this is a mini beauty blender, which is kind of silly to me, but maybe it'll work out. You know, I thought the beauty blender was not a joke, but I was like, yeah, I'm never going to love it, but I absolutely love the beauty blender, and I think this is a great, great value. You get two beauty blenders. Let's see, the original, it says one beauty blender original, one beauty blender pro, one Beauty Blender Micro Mini, and one brand new Mini Reactivate to rehydrate and reactivate your Beauty Blender on the go. Huh. Okay, but uh, you get, I just felt like this was a really great deal, and I actually have a backup, a white one, and I'm, you know, I'm just, with white, I'm just so afraid to use it, but I gotta get over that, and I'm definitely gonna use it, because my Beauty Blender, I think it's time for it to go. It got a little boo-boo so um i just used it today and i love every time i use it i'm like love 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 beauty blender so that's what i got for my sephora vib sale haul i know there were a few splurges but i think that's the point of uh well not the point but you know it's best to get it when you're having 20 percent off because that's pretty rare uh for sephora to do and i felt feel very good about my purchases and now it's time for the drugstore part of this haul, and I. Ugh. And now it's time for the drugstore part of this haul, and my the Rite Aid that I go to by my work had 40% off Wet n Wild, and Wet n Wild is so inexpensive to begin with, but throw in the 40% off, and I could not resist. Uh, so I got this pedal push the. 8 pan palette and petal pusher and I didn't have this one for some reason I have almost all of them but I didn't have that one it's all the purples then this mascara it's the mega length waterproof mascara and very black I don't know I probably shouldn't have gotten this it's, you know I've been I'm gonna show you a mascara at near the end of this haul and I've been trying to change the direction of my mascara use anyway this is the brow pencil and brunettes do it better hopefully it won't have a reddish tint to it i find that a lot of brow products that i've been buying or brow pencils have a reddish tint to it which doesn't really match me maybe if i had red hair uh or red highlights this is also this uh, oh my goodness all right Now for the drugstore portion of this haul, I work by a Rite Aid and they had 40% off Wet n Wild, which is kind of dangerous. I didn't go overboard, I just picked up a few things that I did not have. This is the 8 pan palette and petal pusher, all the purples, and um, I've been into berries and there's a couple of berries on this side, but also because I didn't have it. Uh, here is the Mega Length Waterproof Mascara in very black. And then a brow pencil, brunettes do it better, and hopefully that brow pencil won't have a reddish tint to it. I find that a lot of brow, a lot of brow products that I find at the drugstore or the ones that I've been picking out lately have had a reddish reddish tint to it. And if I had maybe red highlights or red hair, it would look better. But um, with the black hair, it just doesn't look that good. I also picked up at Target. This is a uh, scunchy flash tattoos and i never tried it and i'm always late on uh these types of trends but i thought this was really cool these are the ones that you get in the back and i think it'll be great for the holidays coming up i also got let's see this is the sally hansen miracle gel in game of chromes and i am wearing the rose gold one terracotta and it lasted pretty for a pretty good long time so I decided to get this one I thought this would be great again for the holidays and at Walmart I picked up several things this is I heard somebody talking about this the other day I forgot who sorry um, it's a color track too and inked in pink I didn't have this and since I've been enjoying kind of berries and pinks on my eyes I thought that would be a great base to have uh, here is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ages Serum Primer. I've been trying to find the primer that fits my needs. I want one that uh, sinks into the skin really fast, makes my foundation last longer, and also fills in my pores. I don't know if just for, I don't know if it's, I have an odd skin type, but the primers that I've been trying just have not been something that I've, I have liked. I finally found... Uh, from L'Oreal Jennifer's Nude. This is never available or it's been touched and 
swatched and so I'm excited to have found that oh sorry about that this is like my this is my hairband and it's kind of tight on my hand and then here I have I think I got this from I want to say Target too I think the rest of the things are from Target and the last thing is from uh, Whole Foods uh, so this is the NYX blush HD blush in Electro I know look at that it's it's crazy crazy hot pink uh, I haven't tried the new HD blushes so I thought I would try that I've been actually looking for a taupe the NYX taupe but I don't think they sell that anymore or they repackaged it and they don't sell it at the places that I've been looking uh, then here is the Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Rhubarb. And I, I have one, I think it's in Cherry, and I really like it for just days that I don't want to wear something like that's a high-maintenance lipstick. Which, by the way, this is Maybelline's Burgundy Blush. Love that color. Um, but this is just so easy to throw on, and I love the feeling that it gives my lips. And then the last thing, right? Okay, good. The last thing is Pacifica's Natural Minerals Aquarian Gaze Water Resistant Long Lash Mineral Mascara. And I'm not going to open it because I have some to finish up. And I know I was telling you guys that I had finished up my a lot of my mascaras. And I have. I'm only down to three that are open. And then I now I have three that are new. But I feel like it's a really good step for me. I used to have like... 10 mascaras open at the same time and I would buy more but now I only have three new and three that I'm finishing up so I feel like that's a good compromise uh, so I got this one because I feel like the mascaras that I've been using are making my eyelashes like really short and falling out so I thought I would go the neutral route I'm gonna try this for a while and see how it goes especially on this eye do you guys see how short those are right at the corner compared to this so We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, um, using a mascara with natural ingredients is better. Although, I don't know then why I got this. I got suckered into the price. But that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I... I, there was a period where I wasn't buying a lot of makeup, but with the Sephora VIP sale haul, I mean, Sephora VIP sale, I think I just got back into it a little bit, and now I'm going to pull myself back and enjoy the stuff that I got. Let me know what you guys picked up for the uh, Sephora sale or anything that's good at the drugstore. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!